Uh, so we just got back last week from Asia. Uh, we got the chance to play against the professional teams. So we started in Korea against the Korean Air Jumbos and the Hyundai Skywalkers, which are the two teams in the championship of the Korean League last year, which was really cool. And then we went to Japan and trained with the Panasonic Panthers, who won the Japanese League. So definitely some high-level stuff. Uh, and then we got a chance to interact with the university team, which was fun because they're our age. and kind of get to see what that experience would have been like. While we were in China, our, our last night, we got to play against the Shanghai Golden Age, which is the best professional team in China. They've won two of the last three championships, I think. And we're lucky enough that they're going to come back and play us in the Bren. They had a big stadium and a crowd. We would love to show people here a little bit of what that trip was about by getting to play them in front of people here in the Bren and, and getting a taste for men's volleyball going into the season too. So at the end of the day, that's the reason we go is because we think it's going to help us win a championship. Uh, I think from our perspective, we get to test a lot of our system stuff early in the season. So we were able to play 10 matches. We're normally just practicing by now. We got a few extra training days. We got five new freshmen we're trying to work in. I know we have a lot of returning guys, but we want to make sure that we're always getting better. So it's a chance to do that in a really, really cool setting. Uh, the Asian teams taught us a lot about volleyball, and especially on defense and blocking and the speed that they play with. I mean, these guys, it's their job. It's, it's how they support their families. So to see the kind of commitment that they put in every day, living in the facility a lot of times, just to pass in the ball or serving the ball is, is really inspirational for us. And we can steal some of their training techniques and hopefully bring it back with the same professional attitude that they have. You learn a lot about yourselves uh, when you're together with just the guys for 18 days on the road and travel days and different lodging and stuff. Uh, I think we learned how to interact with each other when things are tough and when things are good. Scotty, I think, has a good answer. It's like, you got to break it up, volleyball, non-volleyball, by country. But for me, the highlight was just interacting with the people. Like our translator in Japan, but just having her teach us different words or showing us different foods and trying to recommend restaurants or trying to figure out how to get in a taxi cab in Japan. Like all those little interactions that kind of were fun but also kind of difficult were, were a lot of fun for me. Uh, the whole time we were there, gratitude was a big thing that we focused on because a lot of people made our trip possible and we realized that so from the administration here allowing us to go and helping us set it up to our coach being there every day our like, training staff all the donors that contributed to funding the trip and and all the people there too that we met along the way and helped us out uh, I mean, 20 guys moving through asia is not an easy task and we were could not be more grateful for the opportunity so thank you to anyone who deserved it